Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading for the middle of June 2019. Uh, this month, if y'all want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But, Cancer, uh, let's see what is going on for you. You have marriage as your first card, so uh, that's good. Uh, but let's keep going here. All right. So, very interesting. All right. So, let's see. You start off with the Four of Wands and the Strength card. I do feel like for some of you, you could have, uh, like, you could have been with somebody that you thought you were going to marry and it didn't work out. So some of you could be having difficulties in a situation like that. You could be sad about a, a situation like that as well. I do feel like you need to let this person go. Yeah, I feel like you have to move on. Uh, your next card is the devil and it's clarified by the six of swords. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but I do feel like some of you have to let go of the past, something that you thought was secure, stable, permanent, and really it wasn't. For others, I feel like you just need to be more determined to find this person, to find somebody that you can marry. So this could represent just needing to put more work into love, you know, giving it more time if you want it, or, um, you know, needing to go on more dates and things like that is what I feel like that is talking about. Uh, next, you have the devil and the six of swords. I do feel like some of you need to move away from this devil. So again, if you're stuck on somebody from the past, I would definitely let it go. I feel like some of you could be keeping yourself stuck here um, on somebody from the past, and it's probably, it's really not helping anybody. Uh, for others, I just feel like this is you. I feel like you are making improvements. This seems to be a major focus this month. I think Pisces had the same message. Um, so I feel like a lot of the water signs could just be very focused on themselves, you know, improving themselves so this says you could be letting go of bad habits you could just be doing self-improvement type things and that will probably lead to improvements in your love life so all in all i feel like that there will be improvements with the six of swords it's like you're moving on to calmer shores you're moving on to better options as well uh next you have the temperance card and the nine of pentacles yeah i feel like some of you are single probably this to me would represent being very single and uh you know needing to have patience for your love to come in but pisces again had the same card um had the uh, nine of pentacles so i feel like you are very um you know you are creating maybe getting to a place in your life where you can have more luxuries more of the things that you want it's like you're making yourself more independent so again this will probably bring love into your life it's like you're making yourself more attractive by focusing on yourself and that will probably attract love in uh, the temperance card of course patience but i really feel like this is talking about turn like i feel like this is what a lot of you are focusing on right now in your life so again some of you might not be focused on love this could the temperance card could say that you are focusing on turning water into wine you are focused on taking your situation as it is now and you are focused on turning it into something much better so i always say that with temperance it's like temperance I, when it comes up for people sometimes i feel like maybe you have negative situations going on in your life or maybe you just simply want improvements in your life and you are just focused on kind of turning water into wine taking things that aren't so great turning them into something much better right which would you rather drink water or wine wine probably of course right you, you know you might as well drink it all day right so that's what i'd say there but uh, so I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like focused on turning your situations in your life around. Uh, in your challenge position, you have the Fool card and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you are still very hurt by the past, so I definitely feel like you need to let that go. Um, this In the challenge position would say that you are not taking a leap of faith towards something. So there could be love offers available to you, or there could be love, off, love available to you in the first place, but it's like maybe you're not taking advantage of opportunities that would allow love into your life. So make sure to socialize, make sure to go out, make sure to date, make Make sure to go online dating, whatever it is that you want to do to find love, uh, make sure to do it. For others, again, uh, Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. I do feel like some of you could feel left out and it's like move, moving on could be a challenge. For others, it could be financial matters that are holding you back. Maybe you feel like you don't have the finances to go out or wh uh, whatever the case may be. We're going to talk about your solution card in a minute, but I'd say if that is the case, I wouldn't worry about it. I feel like there's going to be a turnaround for you in the near future. Uh, for others, I just got moving popping in demand as well. So I feel like some of you, it's like maybe you're not looking for love because you know you're about to move, um, which again, that, that's not really a challenge. That, I mean, that makes sense to me. So if that is the case, uh, by the way, if you're moving, I think things will go very well for you. So <laughs> there you go, Cancer. Uh, next in your solution position you have the uh, death card and the hairpin yeah i feel like the universe is about to step in for some of you like again if you've had a really hard time letting go of somebody i feel like the universe is about to take care of this for you and help you move forward help you move on and i do feel like there will be some sort of transformation for others i feel like it's like you are just going to move on from the past if you've had a hard time letting it go and that will probably lead to a new transformation for others as well i feel like this is the universe bringing in love into your life and i feel like the love itself is going to be what kind of transforms you in this situation what do you know 
Queen of Cups, change in directional up. Literally, that's what I say when I pull the Queen of Cups, change in directional up. So I feel like there's some sort of major change in direction that probably pulls you out of your head. Um, again, it doesn't have to be an X that you are stuck on. It could be some other matter that has been holding you back here in love. So I feel like some of you could have had some other things holding you back. I feel like whatever those problems are, they could be anything. It could be like a health issue, it could be a money issue, whatever it is. I feel like it's about to be corrected here for you. Probably not this month. I'm getting like I'm, I'm being pushed more towards July is what I say so i feel like things but i do feel like there will be improvements right now so it's like you're not going to be waiting for improvements uh, finally you have the seven of swords and the ace of pentacles yeah do not trick yourself out of a new beginning for some of you i'm getting a crazy message like for some of you i feel like there could be somebody coming in where that does things that remind you of somebody from the past and you're like eh, you know uh, do i really want to go towards this person i i really feel like it's nothing I feel, so i would say if you if somebody comes towards you and you like them i feel like it's safe for you to love them basically is what this is saying i feel like it's just saying that maybe there are some things that they do that yes they might remind you of an ex but really this person is probably nothing like your ex is what i feel like these cards are saying here yeah it's like you are done look at cancer you are done with these neg negative cycles these negative cycles that you've been going through are over the world is about stepping through a portal the ace of pentacles to me represents stepping through a portal ace of pentacles is just zero it is an offer from the universe so i feel like you are getting ready to start something new in your love life don't be afraid of it seven of spades or seven of swords to me just represents internal fears that don't exist needing to let go of your fears to have a new beginning so i feel like there could be love offer coming in for you soon in the near future for those of you that actually go and try to find one and i feel like it'll make you very happy but again i would say don't trick yourself out of it with the stuff from the past thinking like oh my you know my ex used to do x y and z this person does the same thing so they're exactly the same person i'd say don't do that uh, for others i feel like you are finally accepting a new offer from the universe you are letting go of the past somebody who probably tricked you cheated on you lied to you and i feel like you're moving towards new love yeah i'd say but be careful like i feel i do feel like some of you could be turning new love offers down yeah you have the king of cups return of love to your life king of cups to me doesn't represent an x to me it represents new love where you feel loved where you feel like there's a very strong connection yeah look I, I still feel like some of you could be holding on very tightly to the past so i'd let it go i feel like i feel like there's new love coming in don't ignore the offer here with this card um and i feel like it'll be something very stable probably another water sign wouldn't really surprise me so i feel like there could be a water sign coming in for you but uh cancer that's what i got for you so thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your month